Yo, what it do, man? This is Grind Face and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. I'm Sunia. And we've been together for 28 years, married for 22 or 23, but who's counting? This is episode 15, and we're going to get on the topic of traveling, man. Talk to us, Sunia. What's, what's the bu- bonus of traveling, man? I think when you travel, it just opens your mind to a whole new thought process. And, and as you mean thought process of, of like a bigger spectrum of life? I think it makes you become more appreciative of struggles, life. Uh, it also gives you insight to other cultures. I mean, I know when we went to Egypt, it opened my mind so much things. It made me think about stuff. Every time we travel and we go out the country, it makes me reflect on life and be appreciative of things that, you know, I have and, you know, look at how other people live and the things that we're so ungrateful about. Yes, that's what I take from. I'll be very appreciative of what my living situation is. And because their their poverty is way different than our poverty. You know what I'm saying? Because they really, some of these places is really tough. You know what I'm saying? So when you see that in person, and and they happy. You know what I'm saying? Even beyond poverty, it. like um, how America has so many liberties, like they have their, you know, their pros and cons and they have their bad. But when you go to other countries and you see like a sense of control, it's, it, it just, I don't know. Like, for example, uh-uh, it's control in America, too. It is. But like I have the freedom to choose my spirituality or my religion. When you tell me a whole country is 90 percent one thing, I got to be hard. When you're trying, you have a different faith. And everything around you is, you know what I mean? Something contrary to your belief system. That's huge. Is you waiting (laughs) for my reply? Or, I mean, you're looking at me. Okay, it's huge to you. Shit. (laughs) No, I'm saying, no, that, 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 I don't know. I'm big on spirituality. It's huge to me. What's huge to me is man, these countries don't have clean drinking water. Oh, yeah. It's like we yeah. take our water for granted. Like, our you water's know bad. No, 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 no. Yeah, our we, we got bad, but we got either. access to like a, a eternity, inferno, what do they call it? Just unlimited know. water. They we got, got unlimited water too, but, but they don't have water. Hold on, water hold on. Like let's, let's, people even say don't even brush your teeth with their water. You gotta use a our, bottle of but, water. But like, this is what Americans don't know. Our water is bad too. I just think people we don't talk about it. Our water is terrible. Okay, but we talking about their water, not our water. Yeah, I don't. I, drink, I would I never. Drink, you do I drink not drink Arrowhead. Yeah, I was about you. to say you do Shout not out drink to Arrowhead our water. For, for delivering my water. I every definitely two weeks. don't drink our water. Everybody say my Arrowhead water sucks, but um, I like it. You know what I'm saying? So even these other <clears> countries, man, I enjoy seeing and experiencing new things. It's Turn like, the heater off. It's hot. A lot of people, they they enjoy going to the clubs and and stuff like that and spending thousand dollars on bottles and popping bottles. But my enjoyment is traveling. I love to travel. I love to see new things. I love to taste different cultures, food. Um just experience life is a whole different ball game to me. And if you ain't got a passport, I, I advise you to get one. And if you can't get one, just try the cruise, cruises. I, Cause I think you get away with hitting some different countries on a cruise boat. I ain't for sure you about that. How you not for sure? And we about to. Yeah. But I'm saying I got a passport for the people that can't get a passport. Oh. You, you have that cruise life, but you won't really get that full experience of filling the other countries because you kind of limited on how fast you got to get back to the boat and all that shit. But I, I, I do recommend travel somewhere. Stop going to the beach. Beach is not traveling. Vegas is not traveling. You know what I'm saying? Vegas is not even fun to me. Yeah, people think Vegas Vegas is not nowhere to travel. So um, talk to the people, man. What's, what, what's, what's your mind on traveling? I think even getting out of, like, for people in a relationship. I think getting away from your mate, going to the other country, do you saying what? I'm just trying to be clarified with you, what you're trying to and say. When do we travel alone? I'm just adding, I, I'm just you throwing we stuff do not out. not even there. travel apart. No, I'm saying like when you travel away from home with your mate, for me, 
like it it allows us to reconnect away from everything away from the distractions the kids the work life you know um and that's like huge for me that reset so you would you would consider traveling like a reset because at the end of the day my traveling it's like a damn job planning <laughs> you know what i'm saying because I, I i wish i was but in your once you're there to, to wake the hell up and oh <laughs> this is nice i'm living good because you know how long and process it is the, the plot the, the plan a trip you know what I'm saying? It's not just <laughs> roll over. For her, it is. It's like, I got to plan this shit, organize this shit, got the driver, got the hotel. Oh, I felt it's so a job. bad for you. Real know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Hold on. But it makes me appreciate you so much. And I was telling Christina this. So when we were in Egypt, I know when my husband is, like, frustrated. So he's not talking He's a little snappy. So when he gets like that, I just stop talking to him because I already know. And so I could tell he's frustrated. This dude is stressing, okay, because we no longer wanted to stay in the Four Seasons. We wanted to stay at a, a different hotel in a different city to get a different experience. So he was stressed out because he had to change. Why were you stressed out? Because I didn't want to carry these, move these big ass luggages around. That's the the bigger thing. C- catching the other flight with the luggage, you know what I'm saying? Because my whole plan was just the luggage gonna stay in the room. We gonna move around and just all that extra shit was just too much. So this is what he does. He always has done this. So when he's stressed and he has to figure something out, he doesn't. T- he doesn't. He he never tells me. What's going on? I just know that he's stressed based on however he's presenting. So then later I get irritated because I'm like, hey, you know, I know something's wrong and you're not saying anything. He tells me what's going on, but it makes me appreciate him. This is on a whole other topic. It makes me appreciate him because he's always been like this, even with bills and stuff. I like some women have to like figure it out like, ah. or, you know, I remember Christmas would come for the kids and we wouldn't have it like that and. He's always taking on the stress where he won't allow me to feel it. Well, I feel it because I, I watch him stress. But I never know what the stressor is or the cause of the stress. Like, oh, we don't have money to pay these bills. He never puts that on me. So I appreciate that. But it's also annoying, too, because he shuts down. But I do appreciate the fact that you take on those responsibilities. But we did get another room, um, better hotel, better place. So if you're ever in Egypt, in Cairo, do not go to the Four Seasons on the um, Nile Plaza. That shit is garbage. You know what I'm saying? It's just in the middle of nowhere, nothing to do. There's no entertainment, no nothing. Sucks. Well, hotel. I think it was because their hotel, it was the ground. I like... When I go to a hotel, one of the things I love is the grounds, too. Not just the room. It has to be, like, stuff where I can walk around. It has, like, a nice scenery. And the Four Seasons in Egypt didn't have any of that. Yeah, and then the JW, they had the grounds, the big old beach and pool. But guess what? It was closed. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of hotels, we had a, a, I felt like it was a bad experience. Um, The Hilton in what about Luxor, Luxor was nice. We stayed there for a day, but... um. It, it was that was the best one, but the other two kind of suck. But I mean, you live and you learn. But the culture was there was was cool. The people was there was cool. Luxor, you know what I'm saying? These people, now I don't know what the freak these Egyptians do, but when I tell you, everybody looks like 20 years younger. Everybody. Yeah, I do say he was everybody 60, looking like he's 18. Every I was I'm like, be, what? I'm the? putting dubs on it, but hey, no, he looked young. And even the, like, the the adults, like, they look like they're, like, in middle school. I'm like, what the heck is in the water out here? They look so youthful. No, like, they don't drink the water. Whatever. I think They so. look very, very, very young, nice skin. They age well. I'm like, whatever the genetics is in Luxor, I don't know what it is. But they are some but they, beautiful what, what people. What they say, black don't crack. And those are the official beautiful black, black people, people out there. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. That's, that's what you want to see with black don't crack. I'm that's like, where we these got it people from. look young. 
Y'all want to see black don't crack go to Egypt? Go, no, 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 no. Those are the Turkey Egyptians in Cairo. Go to go to Luxor, Aswan, Aswan or Luxor. Yes, sir. So even let's go. Let's go to um. What about the um? Where else we been? China. Let's talk about China. China Shanghai. was nice. Shanghai. They they now they got technology. Technology <laughs> everywhere. It's like. You at the you cross the street at the stop sign. They already got a, a facial a recognition no, of no. and all that shit. Forget that. Before you at the leave airport. the airport, you getting fingerprinted. You getting your eyes swiped. You getting facial recognition. You getting everything yeah. about you before you enter into their country. Not only that, you know how we have like wanted signs on the the stop signs. It shows the people that have warrants for their arrest. It's it's yeah, crazy. This technology is it's crazy. Is, is way above. And not only countries. that, I kept saying like every time we we got up in the morning and we went out like out our hotel, I was like, it looks so clean. Like it looked like a movie. Like everything was well, super super clean well, every this single is day. Shanghai, Shanghai, y'all. Not it, other parts. Of every China. day, I was like, and then then one day we got up early enough to see that they actually do clean the streets and stuff every day. Niggas, they, they street cleaner people was out there in Gucci and designer clothes and shit. Oh, everybody <laughs> has designer. It's like I'm like, is this knockoff? Is real because every, everybody like the kids. <laughs> you know everybody. what? I probably, it probably is knockoff. So everybody, that, I'm like, oh, knockoff. I ain't never seen this much designer in my life. This no, is ridiculous. Niggas out there taking out trash and designer shit. It working behind the cashier. I mean, the register, and I'm like, this is crazy. But China, I will say they had the best, the best well, we um, hospitality. Say Shanghai. Yeah, the Not best that. hospitality you would ever experience. And then the crazy thing is, because we all we're big on tipping, they wouldn't even let you tip them. Like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna tip. No, no, no. no. Like. When I say, are you expecting somebody? Keep it going. Be on the middle of work. I'm trying to see what it is. It's just a doorbell shit. Um, but is it somebody or is it a package? Package. They had the best, best um, customer service that I've ever experienced outside of the country. And the best. The best noodles. I ordered noodles. Oh, yes. It's not It's not noodles. It's, it's full. I don't know what Get it was. Get that shit right. It's fault. I don't know what it was. But you talk about top rump, man. I ordered them noodles yeah, that every single day. They make you want to take day. a bite back out there just for a bowl. Every yeah. single day. I'm like, the authentic noodles? Fault. I don't know if that's it's what called they called fall. it. I'm I don't telling know. you, Google it. It's fault. They call it fault. They don't call it noodles. Well... It's noodles. I think. I'm just guessing, but you know what I'm saying? Pho. If we Super wrong, good. y'all just let us know if, what it's Super called. Good. Noodles, pho, pasta. That was cool. Pasta. I want to go to Thailand, though. Thailand? I um, don't know nothing about Thailand. I guess my next my next, my next, next goal place is the um the spot where the, the rooms. Let's talk about the DR. The rooms in the, in that the water. I, I, you know what is crazy? Because I just realized we're going to the DR on the cruise. And I just saw something. Did you send me that when they were saying that they were how they was treating the Haitians or whatever? Oh yeah, you might get arrested if you dark skinned it. Dr. I'm is, like, damn, I don't want to go to jail in the Dr. Like shit. Y'all know he laughing, right? <laughs> I mean, he being funny. Um, they are the most. Well, I'm not gonna say they're the most, but it's very colorist out there. Yeah, they do not. And people could deny it. Their black culture. People can deny it. But it's very true. So I'm going to tell you my experience in the DR. That was like my dream vacation. I always wanted to go to the DR, and he surprised me. The Turks was your dream vacation. No, the it was DR, the DR. You said Turks. Turks was first. Turks. Yeah, okay, they both were. Don't be trying to flex over here. How am I DR. flexing? DR wasn't no dream destination. Turks was. Because you took me to Turks? Yes, got a surprise you with Turks. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, because I took you to the DR for our anniversary. Yes. So anyways, um, Demetrius is like, because you know he's Mexican and black. He like, hey, where are all my black people at? And they just looking at us. And then there's one dark skin. Did I say that really? Yeah, he was like, hey, where are all my black people at? I said, I did that in jail, but I don't know about DR. Why you always got to be funny? Because I don't remember that one. Anyways, he says that. 
And they don't say anything. And I'm like, y'all know y'all have like African roots in you guys, right? So anyways, I don't say anything. And so I'm noticing like the darker skinned people are doing the outside work, like the, the manual labor, like the hard work. So we go into a cigar shop and it's like a dark skin. So I guess that's how you tell they're real, real dark. They're Haitian. Um, no, cause there were some dark Dominicans but you, too. If you dark skin and you second class citizen. Type so anyways, thing. I'm like, I ask him, I'm like, Hey, what's going on? Like I noticed all like the dark people doing the manual labor. He was like, Oh, they're Haitian. Um, so he breaks it down like the colorism. And so it broke my heart because I'm African American, right? Right. Demetrius sure. is Mexican and black. This is how I saw it. This is how I saw it. It's like we have kids, right? So they identify as black, right? Even though they have curly hair, whatever. And let's say they end up mating with a Mexican or a, a light-skinned person, and it goes down and down to where you can still see the African roots, well, you can still see in Dominicans. I don't know why, because you can still see the African, the African blood in them. But then to deny and be like, the, you're the not. Black roots. A, yeah, that was just crazy to me. Like you identify as Latino. OK, these people, the Spanish. ruled this land, you were a slave. They taught you their language and you just dismiss yes. the fact that your ancestors were African and were like that, that, that just blew my mind away. That, that was like an experience to me that I was like, this is crazy to me. And we ain't talking out our ass. We actually talk to the people there and this is from them. So don't get to be out here assuming we actually talk to the people. Yeah. Cause that's I was why like, why even, aren't you guys saying you guys are black? Even, they even love us because we, we treat them like people. You know how some people go on vacation and they treat them like the help. We actually treat these people like people and have real conversations with them. And man, they 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 just treat us like them. They treat us good because we treat them good. You know what I'm saying? And that's everywhere we go. Yeah, we always we always and are. They, but they, that's they, even they here be, though. And they be surprised too. Like oh no damn. no no you know not not out the country because Americans they expect it. But here when we tip, I think they be surprised because we're big on tipping and big on giving. Demetrius gets mad at me with my giving sometimes, but we're big on that. You but know what I mean? not even just tipping, just how you doing oh, good how you morning. Treat people, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just acknowledging them and just like that like person. Like people. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm big on that. I treat people the way I want to be treated. Um, but anyways, I was just like, how can I just couldn't wrap my head around it? Like, how do you deny your African roots? It's like basically being ashamed of a part of who you are. And I and I kept explaining it to Demetrius, like, that's like if our kids made it or had kids with Mexicans and then further down the line be like, oh, we're not, we're, we, we don't have any African, like, huh? It was just mind blowing to me. So I was just like, my, my heart was just like. But I think it's, it's forced upon them because. I don't like think it's forced. I think it's a choice. You know, you yeah, got African you know, blood. But at the same time, you don't want to be treated like second class citizens. Because like you said, all the dark-skinned people is outside doing hard but labor. But those are so your people. Once you start those are your people. what you is, now they're going to treat you different. So who knows how the, the inner circle works. You know what I'm saying? I just thought it was crazy. And, and until I went and call me ignorant, because I was, lack of knowledge, I never knew that the DR in Haiti was on the same island. Yeah. So I was like, that was crazy to me too. Like you guys are on the same Island and this is how you treat they them. They don't want them over there. They like, like that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And then learning the history about Haitians, like they rose up and fought their slave masters. Cause you know, you always have this where people be like, Oh, they're crazy. They're what's crazy about fighting the people that For has you oppressed yes. like that, that. So I don't know the full details of the history, but the little that I learned when I was there, I was just like, my heart broke. I was like, I couldn't even imagine my kids doing something like that and denying me, the person that birthed them, a part of like saying they're not a part of me. I just thought it was crazy. Then we go. Then we've been to Jamaica and I love Jamaica. Um, I, I feel asked, like the no. I feel like Jamaica was the most embracing. Yeah. They're like, welcome home. 
Well, they were so embracing. Demetrius thought the, the women was gay and wanted me. I'm like, these women do not want me. They were just so loving, so like, I'm very like, um, I compliment other women all the time. You know what I'm saying? If somebody fly, I'm going to stop you and tell you fly. If you're beautiful, I'm going to stop and tell you you're beautiful. No, I do not like women. I'm not attracted to women, but I believe in building another woman up. And when I say they were so welcoming, like Jamaica was off the charts. So what What did you try any Jamaican food? See, Sunia ain't a trier of new things. No, my husband didn't want to venture out. Him and my dad were getting on my nerves. I didn't want to venture out because shit, motherfuckers, I don't know Jamaica like that. You know what I'm saying? Some places, I don't know, it's not, it's it's cool to go by yourself and me as a man, but when you're with your wife and stuff, and now you got an extra responsibility. When you it's know you what to saying? go by, we never yeah. ever traveled and out the country may, by then, yourself. And then let's top it, when you have an attractive wife, it's even more dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So if my wife wasn't attractive, yeah, I could take her ass anywhere. Like shit, nobody is going to press the line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you, you have an attractive wife going to these other countries. Let me tell you stuff. something. Niggas, niggas will get disrespected. Your wife is niggas will get disrespected, and then when you press the line, you don't know the laws out there. You know what I'm saying? And now you end up in jail out there. Like shit. I mean, as one time we was on a cruise, a nigga got disrespected. I had to sleep him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell me I'm lying. You're not, but I don't understand why <laughs> like, you're telling that story. Because at the end of the night, people get disrespected, and when you're in a different country, you don't get know. Disrespectful. You don't know. The laws in the, you know what I'm saying? They got access to weapons. You don't. It's, it's just a whole different element that you got to See, take my mind don't even go there country. because Drinkers, I think, is exaggerating. Ex- so it wasn't. It was an oh, American okay. that got disrespectful. No one has ever been disrespectful oh, outside so it of wasn't, the, you, Egypt. You told kinda, me the dude. The dude was being um, shit in Egypt. Yeah, that was I didn't in hear Egypt. it. So that imagine if I heard, I would have pressed the line on him. But I just think that's what they do. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You feeling like that's what they do, but at the same time, you, these other countries. Okay, but in that Jamaica, that was never an issue, though. But we didn't cross that line. Well, see, I don't even know. I'm just now figuring out on this podcast, this is your thought process, because you've never told this to me, and that ain't even the mindset. Like, I ain't never even thought about nothing like that. You don't have to think about it, but somebody is pressing the line. You think I'm just going to not say nothing? I mean, let's be realistic. Who would just press a line in front people of somebody? People do that. You, you a tourist. This is, you know what I'm saying? People, you, you, well, you don't got a man mentality. You a tourist, so they already feel like Not, you, you the weaker link because you, you just, you a like tourist. They do you in their homeland. With Americans though. So I don't know. I don't. We, we see the time come if I buy you jail time in another country. Who it knows? would never happen. It <laughs> would never knows? happen. And then again, everybody's not going to think your wife is attractive. And moving forward, because I, I just don't understand that that mindset. But Jamaica was like the most, the most, oh my. It was like the people, I love the people there. They were just so. I mean, they didn't want to show me no weed farm, but it's cool. They were so like embracing, so loving, so sweet. I really. No, I think I, I take it. I like the people in Turks. They embraced. They was cool. We didn't even went to the fish fry and shit. It now was, he was trying to get you know me a cre- okay. So now this dude, he waited till Demetrius and my cousin left and was trying to offer me and my cousin, his wife, drinks to get us drunk when they left. But, he, but yeah, she said that she don't. This don't happen. She just finished saying something else, and now we in a different country. She's saying this happened. That's but what I I'm told saying. you about this. People will press, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's like this shit goes on. You know what I'm saying? You just. Don't know about it. So I mean, he was doing a bit much when they left off yeah. to ride the ATVs. But they were, um, Turks, mm, Turks is a place where you go if you Relax. just, you don't want to do anything. Like there's nothing to do. No, nah, so, it's bullshit. I did the, the ATV. I'm talking about activities. There's activities to do. There's act there. Yes. There's activities to do. But depending on, like, if people want to go out, they want a club, they want to, like, Turks is not that type uh, of place. They had the fish fry. They had the live entertainment. They had that vibe. What okay. are you talking about? You, it Okay. If I'm talking to the average 20-year-old. You okay. could have fun at the, the fish fry. Okay. Turks is a place if you just want to go relax and do nothing. Okay? It's not vac. Well, I guess it is a vacation it if you don't a want a lot to do. Turks was cool, and the water was beautiful. 
That's the best water. You, it's I've crazy because you and Christina are like, oh, it's, I want to go seen. back. I don't best care to go back I've to seen. Turks. It was cool. Best water I've seen out there. And then where else we been? Hawaii. I, I wasn't feeling Hawaii. I liked Hawaii. Yeah, Maui, no. I liked Hawaii. Yeah, it, was, it, it, it felt like Hawaii felt like Vegas. Huh? Yeah, it just felt, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. How? It just seemed too close to home and just it seemed too Americanized. Put that's that everywhere, way. though. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Okay. That's kind of everywhere, though. Yeah, but you, you don't see that many Americans in these other countries. You know what I'm saying? They, but hold, they, oh, hold, you, but you you're forgetting. They black and like, oh, hold on. You, from a whole other so you won't sound ignorant. You're forgetting Hawaii is a part of America. Well, then that's why I said it's Americanized. It's like Vegas. That's no, what I said. Vegas. No, I it's wouldn't give it like Vegas. Vegas. How is it like Vegas, though? I just said it's Americanized. Vegas is American. Uh, my point is exactly. Shit. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's American, goddammit. it. So Hawaii is, is, is not. You what know about what Dubai? That's a place I never have to go back to. No, Dubai. I think we. Went, I would take my kids, but I just don't feel like well, we went when they was building. So we we experienced some stuff, but they got a whole lot more of stuff going on. I wouldn't mind tapping in uh, there again because at the to do time, what we missed the beach. We didn't even go to the beach out there. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, we was out there. I just thought it was against their religion to be out there on the beach. So I don't. I never thought about going to the beach. <laughs> Because mm, you know they had to be covered up to and with the to. with the um the gear on the I don't even know what to call it the the um, Muslim gear. But a lot so of people in like, Dubai though are not even really from Dubai, not the workers and stuff. Yeah, come to find out, they're from other places coming there to work. But I think I think it's 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 um uh, it'd be cool to travel because we didn't experience Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi because it was kind of a far ass drive. Four hour drive, and we didn't want to take that drive. It went far. Y'all just didn't want to drive it. Why you didn't want to drive? It? Exactly. <laughs> shit. Because I'm the passenger. Drive. Like shit. So you know, I will go back to experience that. That that looked. You mm. know what I'm saying? I if don't anything. have to ever go back. Put it this way: I will do a like a drive by, like a pit stop to my next trip. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't ever have to. Boom, go back spend there. like two days. Re- that wouldn't be my main I destination. Think it's overrated. It would just be a pit stop. You know what I'm saying? Let's go run to Abu Dhabi real quick. Boom, boom. Get back on the plane Abby and move Dhabi. on. Yeah. That's it. What else have we been? Mm. And the funny thing is, like, we ain't really been in that many places in the States. That's crazy. You haven't been to that many places in well, the States. Well, that's fine. Me. I don't feel safe in the States. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you got just a lot of racist people and the police. It's just, I don't feel safe traveling in America. And that's sad. I do feel more safer out of the country than in the country, which is weird. Yeah, that's that's. Crazy. I think you, I think you experience <clears throat> the most racism in America. Exactly. Well, yeah. I'm not. Well, I let do. me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me retract that because they say Ukraine has a lot of racism too, like Russia, different places like that. I've never been. Don't have a desire to go. I'm saying but all the where, places I've been, yeah. they treated me like royalty. Americans get treated either, but a, a lot of places don't like Americans, which no, I we, understand why. Because if like we could go to any country uh, they, and they uh, speak on, our language, they could say a lot of places don't like Americans, but a lot of places like black folks. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That, that so let's, let's, let's separate. Let's separate. <laughs> Hold on. Americans yeah, they and don't like folks. that. That's funny you know because they always say that white Americans. They they be like. They're 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 bougie. They're entitled. They and they they say they always have a good time. Like the tours, the tourist guides always say that they like to get the black people because they know they're gonna have a good time. And we just like chill. Like we gonna have fun. We gonna turn up. You gonna be like a part of the family about time the tour is over. And so when they said that, I can kind of understand what they're saying because typically that's just how we are culturally. Yeah, so let's let's, let me. It's two different type of Americans. (laughs) You know where we've never been that I want to go, Canada, and that's right there. Yeah, but that don't seem. What was what's in Canada? Only thing I know about Canada is Drake House. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Wow. I mean, okay. Wow. What's what's one thing in Canada? (laughs) What's one? Okay, let me not lie. I don't have the desire like that to go to Canada, but it's like it's right there. Why haven't we ever been to Canada? Exactly. You don't know shit in Canada. 
Yeah, it's not. I've never exactly. been like pumped up like, oh, Canada. But it's like it's right there. Why not go? Yeah. One thing I will say that's a very true statement. Every time we have traveled or any time I've ever met a Canadian, they're like the nicest, happiest people in the world. Because they happy they left Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about Canadians, but when I say they are always happy, polite and sweet. It's just something about, and we we could be anywhere. We run into a Canadian, and when they say they're from there, you can always tell. Like, they're the most pleasant people. But they say they don't have, like, racism and different things like that out there, mm, I think. I, yeah, I, I disagree with that. It's racism everywhere. It's just how... how when I how say racism, it's obviously it's racism everywhere, but I don't think, like... Um, how you would think 20 is 2022 in the United States, how it's still prevalent. You know what I mean? Because no, you talk to some people, it's not no racism in America. It's all, that's about, crazy. It's all about people Your perception. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. But you know what? Let's get into that because I don't have to experience something. And this is the conversation we were having in Egypt. I don't have to experience something to be ignorant to the fact that it's happening. No, I don't. Okay, for example, I don't really get pulled over by the police. You don't really get pulled over by the police. I got pulled over by the police a lot of times when I was younger. Younger in you Lancaster because Lancaster was, a, was racist, driving. a racist city. But now it rarely happens. Well, I ain't got pulled over. I ain't got a ticket. In. I think it's part of your age. 2013? Too. Cause I got I got pulled over I got harassed not too long ago but a couple months ago when when I was leaving Top Golf um oh you was, told me that he was I think it was say, your car yeah the the charger he was trying to say um I was speeding which I didn't um but he just seen two black guys in the car and just basically want to run and run my um plates Wait. and information and then let me go now you tell me that's not being harassed you know what I'm saying. Because if I was if I did a violation or something, you would have gave me a ticket. But you just want to run my name and all my information and let me go. You was but before that, me. when's the last time you got pulled over? Um, I got pulled over like a year before that, just going down saying the cops said my music was too loud in a trucking area. It probably was. But it said it's it wasn't a residential area. It was a trucking area where all the trucks go by. So the trucks was louder than my music. So like again, he wanted to run my plates and run my name. So it it still happened. What car was you in? What kind of car? It was. I want to say the Impala. I don't know. The black. You have an Impala last year. Well, I don't know. Look, you asking too many technical questions. I don't remember the car. I think it was the Charger. It might be in the Charger because my window was tint. Because then I was talking shit, and then he gave me a ticket for my tinted windows. He's because he's like, oh, you want to talk shit? I'm gonna add your tinted windows. And hmm. then I get my tent taken off. I only think I get my tent taken off. So I don't know what cars. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, is they still harass. So you might not experience it, but I experience it. But just because I don't experience it, that's my point. I'm not gonna be ignorant to the fact that it does happen. But, but no, it I don't happened get less over. now that I'm older. I could give you that. Oh, you know less. what? I did get pulled over. I got pulled over on the way. When I was in San Bernardino, I was getting um, my live scan to be able to go into the jail. Um, and I think I ran a, a stop. I forgot. I did do something illegal. And he pulled me over. <clears throat> and he let me go, though, because I was like, I'm not familiar with the area. And I didn't know it was a stop sign right there. He was like, okay, nice car. I'm thinking about getting this car. We just had a conversation. Let me go. I mean, what are you trying to fit in? Because you, you, um, you, I just thought about it. I did get pulled over last year. You were trying to make the police look like the bad guy, not the good guy? No, I don't think the police <laughs> is a bad it. guy. I think, I think. I mean, I mean, anytime I got pulled over, I could rightfully say that it. I did do something. Because no, sometimes I got, I, um, sometimes they let me go. You know what I'm saying? I, you run across some cool ones. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. There's some cool ones out there. Yeah, he didn't even you give me a saying? ticket because I was like, I'm not familiar with this area. I didn't know it was, uh, I don't know if it was a red. I don't know if it was, a, I don't remember. But whatever he said I did, I did it because when I looked up, I was like, oh, I didn't even see that there. Um, But what I'm saying is because I don't experience it, I don't sit there and be like, oh, it doesn't happen. I know it happens. Because I know there are bad people in every profession, just like there's bad therapists. So I know it happens, but I'm just saying 
I'm not going to be like, oh, it doesn't happen in America because I don't experience and it. And then we're going to take it back to Egypt because the cop oh, there pressed me straight and, and off grabbed the plane. his gun and everything. Like, dude. So we're out there, and I, I could just see it. Young dude. Young dude. Power tripping. So we're all waiting. The, the people that are off the plane, we're waiting for, like, our cabs and our rides. And, and we was told to stand over there. We were told to stand over. No, yeah, our driver met us because he met us right off the plane. Yeah. And he told us to stay right there. The car was far. He was going to get the car to pick us up. So the police officer, and it's just so, I think going to other countries like that with Egypt, Mexico, it was another country where they just, China's like that too. They openly walk around with like these rifles, like, heavy artillery and that to me that that just makes my heart pound because i get anxiety because i'm like you know what i'm saying like i don't know what y'all saying i don't know your culture and then y'all walk around with these guns like it's normal um so i was already kind of like dang they got these big guns and i don't know maybe that's just the american in me because i know what can happen um so anyways we're standing there and he walks, so he's walking past. It's so many different people that are standing there, but we're the only black people. He walks up to Demetrius saying whatever he's saying, because obviously we don't know what he's saying, but he's talking in an aggressive tone. But one thing I've noticed about Egyptians, it sounds aggressive, but it's not necessarily aggressive. Um, But he puts his hand, his finger on the trigger. And I'm like, and so he, how do we understand what he was saying? Um, shit, body language. Because he's talking Arabic. like body language. He's speaking uh, in Arabic. But he's, but he's speaking, I mean, because I know people that speak in Arabic in the States because I grew up, my mom's a Muslim. So I grew up around that. But the way he's speaking is aggressive. And I don't even remember how we found out what he was saying, but we figured out well, what he was saying. Well, it wasn't much because our car pulled up and we got in the car. So it was like perfect timing. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. Our car pulled up in perfect timing, got out, got our bags and stuff. But it was just like, he didn't say anything to me. He said something to, he walked up to Demetrius, but my, my heart was just like, it, I, didn't, I didn't like that feeling. And I didn't like the feeling with him having that big gun. And him having his finger on the trigger. Because mind you, I'm very analytical. I'm psychoanalytic. I, I analyze everything. And I knew the way he was walking up. He was going to walk up to Demetrius. And then I'm just watching his finger go on the trigger. And then my heart is just like, okay, we're about to have to fight this dude or something. Because obviously I'm not going to stand there and let you kill my husband. So and that could I could have been overthinking. Yeah, that could have just been my record, thoughts. Record is more powerful than trying to fight. I, I keep trying to tell her, pull the phone out and record it. It's like, <laughs> hold on, shit. we got to tell our other experience, like, and then we're gonna close this out. He always wants me to record, but you know, it's fight, flight, or freeze. No, nah, nah, they gotta add record in there. People don't understand <laughs> the power of video. If something's happening to my husband, my thought is not to record. My thought is to go help him. So I'm not one of them women that's going to be screaming. And No, I'm going to help my husband. You don't need to scream. Just record. Kill back in the side and record. I'm you get going justice with, to with help video. my husband. You get justice with video. No, I'm going to get justice with these hands. I'm okay. going to help my husband. So we so we are at the airport. So <laughs> so let's, let me oh, start no, it no, off. No. I got I to tell the reason why. So the water costs in Egypt. You got to pay. They ain't giving you no free water. The water costs. So I had like. Five big, big water bottles, and we was about to take a flight to um, Luxor. So I'm like, shit, I'm packing these water bottles. It's like, well, I'm they not, let us bring like, the shit. water from Cairo to Luxor on our travel on, on our carry on. So, so basically, I got five big old water bottles in my in my bag. But you're not telling it right. So, anyways, we go to the airport, and the person tells us just to. They tell us to go through. So they don't. So we don't check. We don't realize we didn't check in. So now we're going through security. Check the bag because the bag was supposed to be a check bag. Right. Our bag was supposed to be a check bag. A che uh, so we basically walk through like a carry on, but we're not realizing that we're thinking we're going to like basic, uh, basic security to go check in. Yes. So, anyways, they pull Demetrius aside. They pull in all of us aside and pulling the stuff 
out the bags. So I, I'm already through. And so I'm already through to the next part. But I'm looking back and my husband, they have him. So obviously I'm not going to just keep going. I'll wait to see what's up with my husband. I told her, record, record. Don't I'm record. not going to record because I, I can't record and react at the same time. And, and they doing something she to my husband. always want to react. No, I respond. So let, let me get that. I don't react. I respond. respond. I'm analyzing. I'm thinking like, what the heck is going on? I need to see what, if, if my husband is okay. I don't care about a video, but I care about his well-being. So anyways, they have him, right? And I just see from across the like the way that they, they're having him drink, <laughs> drink water. So I'm like, why are they having him drink water? So I walk over there and I'm just looking. I'm like, hey, I'm like, babe, is everything okay? Yeah, exactly. She walked over there and now she's involved. You know what I'm saying? Like when she could have just stayed back and record. No. <laughs> like she so I'm like, I'm like, is everything okay? So they're like, so they open up another water. They tell him drink. So I'm like, why are they having him drink the water? So this is where it gets crazy at. The guy opens the water and he said, now you drink, test, you drink. And I said, oh, they think something's wrong. <laughs> they think something's wrong with the water. So obviously I open the water, I'm drinking it. And so they just looking at us like we we crazy. They're like, okay, you tell us they we can't take all the water. We can only take some water. So basically they was having us drink the water, like, hey, if something's wrong with it, let them be the test dummies and let this something happen to them. But then we figured out later on, once we got to, you know, the check-in or to get on the plane, they like, you guys aren't checked in. So that's why they were checking our water because we were never supposed to have our luggage through that part. They thought we were smuggling something in the water bottles. That's what. Basically. That was funny. I'm like, nah, let your wife drink this shit. <laughs> and it's like, she didn't have to be involved, but she want to come over there. Hey, babe, everything all right? Stand back and record this shit. You know what I'm saying? We in a different country. You can send that shit to America. It's like, shit. This is my thing. <clears throat> Everybody's so big on jumping and, and, and recording. So we was at my daughter. We were, um, I ain't going to say the city. We were at my daughter's um, homecoming. We were waiting for her to, you know, how they go out to eat afterwards, blah, blah, blah. So we were waiting for her outside a restaurant. Some kids, some teenage black boys, they're fighting. So my instant thought well, I was. I say some black boys because it was a black and Mexican boy. No, they were both black. No, it was a black and Mexican. One was biracial. One was black. Two black boys. Black and Mexican. But uh, go ahead. He was. I, looked I got the video. Shit, I could bring the video. And he okay. looks biracial. Okay. But anyways, whatever he was. Two wanna, boys. I always want to make the black culture look bad. But go ahead. Two boys mm -hmm. fighting. My instant thought is to jump out the car and stop them. They're kids, right? And he's beating him up bad. It was mutual combat. Go ahead. He's beating him up bad, like sitting on him. It wasn't bad. He's beating him up. No, it wasn't. <laughs> to a woman, it probably would, but he's, it was mutual combat, first of all. They both wanted to fight. It was, okay. One is bigger than the other. It doesn't matter he's, who was. They was mutual combat. They both agreed to fight. That's that's the part you're uh, not explaining. They both wanted this. Anyways, I see two kids, teenage high school kids, kids fighting. Not grown men, kids. So my instant thought was get out the car and stop them. He's like, oh, no, don't get involved. I'm like. Sit down and mind your business. So another like lady gets out the car and tries to stop them. It was about to get her ass whooped. Mm, well, that ain't going to happen with me. She tries to get out the star and car and stop them. And uh, one of the little boys, I think it was his sister or something, was like, hey, don't get in it. I don't want you to get hurt. But this is my thing. Whether I get hurt or not, I just see a kid getting beat up. Mutual and combat. Go ahead. My This is my issue with you. The thing is, you Let me you finish. grew up as a fighter, so you I did. It's like it, mutual combat is. I can see if one person was being bullied and forced to but fight. We don't That's know if they're being bullied. I know because I was sitting there watching. They were sitting there, both wanted to fight. They I don't finally think met they up both and like, let's do this to fight. Yes, they did. We watched the, the okay. The boy we watched. That you, that was getting we beat watched. Up, you say kid. he got up and wanted a round two. Cause he's he wanted, embarrassed. He wanted more. Cause okay, he, then. No, that's mutual combat. No. It's mutual combat. I work combat. with kids, and I was a kid. And I think, okay, we watched the little boy put his hitty on, creep up on him and all that, right? I didn't know what he was doing. 
But then, obviously, the boy is embarrassed. He got beat up. So, even if he can't fight, he going to try to put on a show and try well, to go for some more. No, he really don't choice, want no more. Bad choice he made then. But as an adult, as a parent, like, I'm like, no, Demetrius, I got to get out the car. Like, he's getting beat and up. The thing is, she failed to mention, it's like damn near 10 cops all around in this parking lot. No, they were on the it's, other side. Of the parking lot. Because it's, there was something else going on. But so, my, Okay. I don't. This is my thing. I don't care about who who else is supposed to act. Who else is supposed to do what? Somebody else is supposed to do. So it's not your problem. My thought is always: if that was my son, if that was my kid, I would want somebody to act versus pulling out a phone. And I'm a social justice person. If you don't know this about me, I'm big on right is right and wrong is wrong. I'm I'm I will jump out the car for a stranger like. And I'm big, mind your own business. Because he like, at don't the get end out of the, the day, car. It was mutual combat. Don't now, get out the was, car. You going to make me have to get involved. I'm like, so? Like, we need to stop these kids from fighting. Like, what if something happens to this kid? Think about the girl in Cabo. They done took her to Cabo to beat her up and she's dead. I'm and not every- about shit, but my family. Oh, so at the end of the day, it, it, that's your problem. You, you need to focus on your family. You with your husband, these two boys fighting. You get out there trying to fight and you get hit. I'm now, not I'm, trying to fight. It's, it doesn't matter. You breaking up shit. You, gonna, you involved. You get hit. Now I'm involved. Now me whooping a minor ass. Now I'm in jail for whooping a minor ass. Now one of these minors bring it, pull out a weapon. Now I got to pull my weapon out. Now it's, it's just because you want to involve and break something up. Let the police handle it. They right there. Bottom line. This is and why I don't a, like to be with him. Because if I wasn't with him, I would have got the out the car. You don't see the bigger picture. It's, uh, you I know what do I'm saying? see the bigger they, picture. This is how innocent people I, okay. die because I, they don't I, mind I, their I, fucking I do business. see the bigger picture. I see... Two kids fighting. That you hold on. Mutual combat. You gave your scenario. Let me get mine. Two kids fighting. One kid gets his head like knocked into the oh, concrete. On hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These so, both hold kids on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck off. Hold on, hold on. Over there, it wasn't nobody. One injured. kids die. You watching when you gotta watch his mom sitting there crying when all you had to do was get out and say stop or intervene. So it could it could go yeah. both ways. It yeah. could go both Besides, ways. Yeah. If something happened, I would have felt so bad when I was in a position to stop it and, and didn't. So it could be either or. I just feel like you got to. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm batting for my family. Bottom line. I'm batting for everybody. You know, and that's where you're going to fuck up at. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody else batting for your family while you out here batting for everybody else. Okay. I'm going to just do what God tells me to do. And God told you, sit your ass in that car. <laughs> no, he Bottom didn't. line. You did. Shit. And the only reason why I didn't get out, because I didn't feel like you'd be in a huge argument. Because, no, that's not what I was feeling. That's what I felt like you were saying. Not exactly. God. And, and for good reason, I was saying that. So, like <laughs> I said, basically, look out for your own family. Because that could have been a whole different other way. The police was already right there. They weren't acting fast enough. Oh, well, shit. Ain't no heartless. heartless. I, I I evaluate the situation for heartless. what it was. It was mutual combat. We was all in high school. We was all heartless. kids. I mean, we both agreed to fight. Let us fight it out. And that's the problem. People, these kids know what they want. They wanted the head of fade. They got a head of fade. They got their whole crew right there. It was a mutual combat. One they on crew one. Was there. One on one fight. I mean shit. Now if somebody was getting jumped and all the and the person didn't want to fight. He kept saying, "Stop! I but don't want this." Adult. That's a different story. But when they both agree in mutual combat, they got homies all right there watching. Shit, let them go at it. It is what it is. Just shit. We don't need moms coming in. Oh my god, stop <laughs> it! Stop! Oh my god! Now sit your ass down. Let them like shit. Bottom line, it's like shit. Well, it. Mm. I'm always gonna be that person. I don't care. That's the moms. This shit. No, this, that's that's a human. It's that mom mentality. But so go ahead, wrap us up because um, the viewers is upset with you anyways. Like shit. why they upset with me? Because they all agreeing. Like sit your ass down. No, they not. I hear them right now. No, they I, not. I hear them. Look, tap in and tell us. They all I, saying, I really want to know. Sit your ass down and protect your own family. You got a man because at the end of the day, I would have been hemmed up by the police. Like shit. Be sitting in jail for because you wanted to jump out the car and beat Captain Save a nigga. I, I don't think they're. 
a kid. I'm not yeah. saying an adult. It's a kid. This is the thing. It's a difference with me. Be, be, These is between 17, a kid. Seventeen. We don't know how kids. they are. They could have been freshmen. Seniors, they could have been a freshman. Like they could have been fourteen. We don't know that. It's a that difference with 14. to me. It's a difference to me with a kid and an adult, and it, and it's always going to be a difference to me. A kid and a teenager is two separate things too. Teenagers is a different from a kid. You keep making a kid like this junior high, it's like a, kid. T- a teenager. It's a kid. Teen a teenager is old it's enough to walk around with these big ass guns and shoot your ass and rob you. It's a kid. These is teenagers, and that's where a lot of the fact that people, f- f- these teenagers out here doing dirt, that you be like, oh man, they're just a kid. No, these are some devious ass teenagers. It is what it is. Get off your phone. That's the office security. But go ahead, wrap it up. Oh, are they cleaning the carpet today? Um, the furniture. Yeah. Um, go ahead, wrap it up though. At the end of the day, man. Uh, um, in today's time, you can't give these teenagers passes, man. These they out here killing people, robbing them, and they got they might have a bigger gun than you. Bottom line. Well, sorry. They can handle that. I have a heart. I am. A humanitarian and at heart. To end it all out, all the kids, all the teenagers was fine. When the police came, they all ran and waved. They didn't and all run. Only the all, one little boy the that two was fight, beaten. The, the two the fighting one, kids no, ran away. No, he didn't. I got it on video. This he walked was, off with his sister. He hit the trash can because he was embarrassed and he was mad. And the little boy that was beating him up ran away. We all seen some different shit. But well, I, pull I, out the video. You like see what shit. you want to see. He walked away. He didn't. Only one kid. But at ran. the end of the day, they didn't feel in no danger because he didn't talk to the police. So he, he didn't want to be saved. <sighs> bottom line, and then that's what that's the point I was proving. Mutual combat. Wrap it up, Sania. <laughs> Until next time, as we always say, continue to break cycles. <laughs>